day, Rotten Lot. Thank you very much for tuning into the channel. Today on the board, we've got this cool little unit from Flamer. This is the FX50. It is a multi effects unit, which is also a headphone amp. I think it's designed on the um, to, to sort of practice on the go. You can put batteries in the back of it, it's got a belt clip on the back of it. So you can pretty much just uh, plug your guitar in here and uh, plug your headphones in down here, and you can just, uh, you know. Practice in complete silence with your headphones on. There's a heap of different effects in here. Some drum beats, uh, which is also pretty cool. So, I'm just going to go through the amps and all the effects really quick here for you and give you a listen. So, this is the clean amp. There's a couple of different delays. There's one that's a bit analogy and one that's a bit digitally. Now, as you turn the knob through the different effects, you get more and more of that effect. And they get longer and longer. So here's off. As you just get into the little yellow strips here, it comes on a bit. The further you go through, the longer it gets. And that's the same for all the effects all the way through. Now this delay knob also has some reverbs. First one is a room reverb. And my favorite's the hall. I'm going to crank the hall all the way up. Right now, the reason I've talked you through that knob first before hitting the rest of the amps is so I can uh, just have a bit of reverb on there while I show you the rest of the amps. Let's see if I can back it up a little bit. Beautiful. All right, the next one, next amp is the overdrive amp. Now, I've also got the cabinet IR on, but if you flick it off sometimes, you sort of mix and match between them. That's on. That's off. The switch is over the side here. Now this knob up the top here is your gain knob. From sort of no gain. Do a little bit of gain. Up to full gain. Yeah, that's pretty cool. The next amp. Next amp is the distortion amp. going on in that one as well. This one sounds like it's got a cocked wah built into it to me. Champ. The next 
one is the fuzz. in there as well when you play around with the toe knob. Too fuzzy. And uh, the last step on here is the middle one. wanted a you know a dirty amp and a bit of reverb or some delay or something to um you know practice along with and not wake up the baby or not wake up your wife who's just come off night shift from her nursing job i mean this is great Aged lawyer, I'm going back to the overdrive setting. All right, now the rest of the effects on here are pretty rudimentary, they're awesome. We've got a uh, flanger, we've got a phaser and a tremolo. And the knob works exactly the same way. The more you turn the knob up, the thicker and louder the chorus becomes. So it's off there. When you just turn the knob a little bit, you get a little bit of chorus. As you turn it up a little bit more, it gets thicker and faster. Pfizer. Turn the delay off for this. So again, as you turn the knob up thicker and faster. The phaser. So it ends up quite fast and quite thick. Yeah. 
The last one is the tremolo. Now, there's a, I'm pretty sure there's a set depth on this one, or you can adjust as the speed as you turn the knob more and more. So that's all pretty cool. Just bring a bit of delay back in. The tone knob's pretty self-explanatory. Uh, you can save a couple of presets in here, and also, I think it's 10, you can save 10 presets in here, and also it has... a mountain of different drum beats in there. So that's pretty cool. Uh, where am I? The patch there. It's where you can save your different presets. So there you have it. This is the Flamer FX50. It is designed to be a little headphone practice tool that comes with a belt clip on the back and you can put some AAA batteries in it to uh, fire it up, two AAA batteries from memory. Um, it has its input, its output, cab sim on and off, its volume knob is here, headphone sockets out there, guitar in there, auxiliary in as well. So you can plug your iPad into it or your computer into it and uh, you know, with a little TRS cable, a little 3.5 TRS cable and play along with that. It's got drum in, drum beats built into it, about 99 from memory. I'm pretty sure you can save 10 presets in it as well, which is super duper cool. You've got all the effects, delay and reverb, modulation effects. You've got different amps there. Amp sim, uh, the cabinet sim on and off there. Tone knob there, gain knob there. Honestly, this thing costs about 70 bucks and it's probably the most fun you can have with your pants on. And you do need your pants on so you can use the belt clip to put this thing on there. So seriously, you can go and practice anywhere. You sit out in the backyard with this thing and just muck around with it. And it's um, a really, really good tool. But for me, the most, I know that it's, it's got to sound good, but the, for me, the most important thing as a practice tool is having the drum beats to practice along with. Practicing along with a metronome is very important f to grow your guitar skills. And, um, you know, it's really boring playing along with a click track. So having some drum beats to play along with like this is awesome and really helps you stay in time and, and gets you better at staying at a steady tempo, which is awesome. Well done, Flamer. We'd like to thank Flamer very much for sending this along. We appreciate you supporting our channel a lot. You guys are heaps of fun to deal with, heaps of fun to deal with. So uh, anyway, we hope you found this interesting and informative and uh, give us a thumbs up, like, subscribe, all that stuff. It will help the channel out a lot. Thank you very much for tuning in. We'll see you in the next video. Bye.